One of the coolest features of Vienna Ensemble Pro is called Preserve. It keeps an instance with all its instruments and samples loaded, while you can switch between songs or even sequences. To preserve an instance, click the Preserve button and enter a specific name for better orientation. These instance names plus the IP address will be used to identify the right instance when opening different songs, so make sure that you are using specific names for specific preserved instances. It is highly recommended to use static IP addresses for the slave computers in your setup. So you can actually preserve an instance by clicking the Preserve button in the Vienna Ensemble Pro interface itself or by clicking Preserve in the Server Interface plugin. If an instance is preserved, this does not mean that it is saved anywhere outside the recording situation. I will explain more about saving Vienna Ensemble Pro instances in so-called VI-Frame or MetaFrame files at the end of this video. In general, there are two states that concern the connection with your Vienna Ensemble Pro instances. These states are managed and displayed by your server interface. First. Preserve, which keeps the instance with all its instruments and samples loaded while you can change to another song or sequencer. And although a preserved instance stays available after you have closed the song, the instance data will still be saved with your song, so you have all the data available right away with your song. As soon as a Vienna Ensemble Pro instance is preserved, a second state is available that separates your instances from your sequencer even more. Decouple. This state is very helpful with some plugins like Contact that will push a lot of data to the sequencer whenever you're saving or auto-saving a song, which may result in an interrupted workflow. When the server interface is in a decoupled state, the Vienna Ensemble Pro instance is totally independent and no information will be saved or loaded with your song. Decoupled instances can be seen like standalone instances that are not integrated in your sequencer, although in this case the connection over network works perfectly fine. You can also decouple all available preserved instances connected to your sequencer by clicking All. This button, Decouple All, will always affect all available server interface plugins in your sequencer that are connected to a preserved instance of Vienna Ensemble Pro. So you can decouple all connected and preserved instances in your sequencer at once, no matter if they are 32 or 64 bit. And with another click, all decoupled instances will be coupled again. When working in a decoupled state, don't forget that you need to deactivate decouple in order to have all the information contained in your Vienna Ensemble Pro instances saved with your song. Which leads us to the options you have when saving a Vienna Ensemble Pro instance. One instance of Vienna Ensemble Pro can be saved as a VI frame file. A VI frame is the best way to save one instance of Vienna Ensemble Pro to have it available if you want to open, for example, a specific string section in a new song. If you focus on the Vienna Ensemble Pro server, you can also choose to save all available instances of this server as a MetaFrame file. 32 and 64-bit MetaFrames have to be saved separately. These options will help you to organize and backup your templates, additionally to the information that is saved with a specific song. You will find a lot of information in your Vienna Ensemble Pro manual as well, especially when it comes to specific solutions for specific sequences. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to join our forum community or contact us directly under support at vsl.co.at.